And as you awaken this morning and grab your cup of Jawa, or I should say Java, the force is beginning to awaken. That happens tonight. We're going to have some friends giving you your forecast after the break. It's 8:10 on this Friday Eve, aka Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, I think something big is happening tomorrow. There's right. Officially. There's, a, there's a disturbance, you might What's say. Happening. Uh, there's an awakening happening. Oh. The first showings of Star Wars <laughs> are tonight. The official <laughs> opening is tomorrow. Well, we have a disturbance in the force cast too, guys. A return to winter for the first time in a while. It's the dark side of the forced cast ahead of us. We have cold and we have the possibility of some snow ahead of us. So let's dive right in. All right, as far as the cold goes, temperatures at night going to be very chilly. The next three nights, 26 degrees tonight, 22 tomorrow night, 27 degrees Saturday night. We need winter clothes, winter coats, hoods at least if you've got it, and that's most likely the face you're going to be making when you walk out the door the better part of the next three days. Very cold nights ahead, cold afternoons as well. A chance for a little bit of snow in the forecast for us late tomorrow into Saturday. We'll look at that in just a moment, but the weekend itself, your Saturday and your Sunday, mostly sunny in the forecast. It's a big old thumbs up in the forecast for the weekend as far as sky condition is concerned, buddy. Uh, next week, we turn a little more unsettled. We get back to some rain, so enjoy the sunshine this weekend. A couple of your intergalactic neighborhood temperatures and forecasts for today, huh? Snow showers ahead of us. Go figure. A little bit on the cold side as well. If you're heading out to Camino, thunderstorms and rain in the forecast. And if you're hopping over to Mustafar, make sure you have your sunscreen and a bottle of water. We're talking really, really hot in the forecast. Coming back home, temperature right now, 32 degrees in South Bend, 33 in Goshen, 34 in Rochester. Temperatures right now are not much cooler than they're going to be this afternoon. Tempcast puts us into the upper 30s later today. We're talking about a high of 37. That is all we reach into. We have wind chill right now that we'll look at in the mid 20s. We're going to stay with wind chill up in the upper 20s later today as well. Tonight's actual lows will be in the mid 20s. So not the best day ahead of us again the winter like forecast ahead of us we're mainly overcast right now we'll stay mostly cloudy this morning the best chance for a little sun will be late in the day let's find that 7 30 goes to noon as the white colors become gray that's less cloud cover it's thin clouds so you see late in the day thin cloud cover our better chance for some sunshine very late tomorrow after sunset toward the overnight hours watch southwest michigan here we go a few scattered snow showers move in not a whole lot to worry about the probability of seeing an inch of snow in southwest michigan 20 percent not much going to stick. You'll wake up Saturday morning not really seeing much of anything on the ground. And if you're in northern Indiana and think you're going to get some snow in the forecast or anybody tells you a big snowstorm is ahead, it's a trap. We don't have a big snowstorm ahead of us. You'll see some flakes if you're up at night tomorrow. As far as tonight goes, 26 degrees is your forecast. Not a great day for Death Star seeing because, or I should say a great night because we're going to be mostly cloudy in the forecast tonight as well. You look ahead, your 10-day forecast, 30 degrees tomorrow. Again, the snow chance is not major. 31, your temperature on Saturday. We'll go to 42 on Sunday. There's your sunshine. I mentioned rain for next week. We'll have temperatures in the mid to upper 40s, a couple of low 50s. And Christmas might possibly give us a few snowflakes very early in the day as a wintry mix settles in. The bus stop forecast this morning keeps us cold. If you're hopping your, on your Star Destroyer this morning, grab your coats. We're cold this morning into the afternoon. A next check of your forecast is straight ahead. I think a big movie comes out. I think it's today important. I've been hearing a lot, a lot about the it. The new album, the Chipmunks movie. Oh, oh yes. is it that one? That's the one. Is that, oh, is that the one? <laughs> Star Wars Force Awakens, the first showings of the movie we've been waiting for a decade for the last, for the last Star Wars movie, starts later today. And well, it's only appropriate that we give you your force cast of the day. Now, a lot of things <laughs> oh, are happening, goodness. both good and bad, both dark and light side of the force, and we'll cover <laughs> both of those for you. We'll dive into the things that are changing the dark side of the force cast. Winter returns for the next several days. We're talking about snow. We're talking about cold temperatures, highs that might not even reach 30 degrees tomorrow. So this is the not so good in the forecast. The next three nights going to be very chilly. 26 degrees tonight, 22 degrees tomorrow night, 27 Saturday night. Wind chills likely in the low to mid teens. Yes, you want to bundle up winter coats or even just the hood as you head out the door because you'll feel the wind a little bit as well. Now, the weekend itself, your Saturday and your Sunday, we're going to force something back into the forecast. We're going to talk about cold temperatures, but we're going to pull some sunshine. 
back into your weekend for your Saturday and for your Sunday as well. The lighter side of things in the forecast, mild air sets back in next week, mid to upper 40s closing in on 50. So we balance the force going back into next week. A couple of intergalactic forecasts for you today. Tatooine dry, go figure, the desert planet, not really expecting to see much rain today. And or pleasant, very pleasant heading in throughout this afternoon. Not much to worry about, a couple peaks of some sunshine. In Cloud City, we're gonna go with fairly overcast later on this afternoon. As far as us coming back home, we're fairly overcast right now as well. You see we have some scattered rain showers to our east. We have some snow to the north. Nothing going to impact us as far as either of those today. I mentioned the four letter S word snow earlier. We'll time that out in a little bit. Most of that might be while you're asleep on Friday and we're not all getting in on the boat, but we're all seeing cloud cover to start and we'll stay fairly cloudy for the rest of today. Best chance for sun going to be late in the day. Tempcast, we're starting in the low 30s. We'll end the day at 37 degrees. That is it for our high. So we keep it cold, not just at night when you want to bundle up, during the day as well. And overnight, we'll have, again, our temperatures into the mid-20s. Actual air temperature is at 32 in South Bend, 33 in Goshen, and 32 in Warsaw and Elkhart. We factor in a tiny breeze. And here's what happens with the wind chill. It feels like 21 in South Bend, low to mid-20s across the board. I mentioned wind chill likely to stay right around the 30-degree mark throughout this afternoon. So winter coats this morning and this afternoon. Here's local satellite radar, again, entrenched in cloud cover. The best chance for sun late in the day, we'll find that right now. Forecast track, cloud cover, overcast. We're talking about going into the afternoon, the whites decrease on forecast track, gray colors take over. That means thin cloud cover. So clouds begin to thin this afternoon. You see that's when our chance for some sun just before sunset will settle in. As far as tomorrow goes, after sunset toward the overnight, here's our chance for some snow. Most of that will stay north of the state line. Here's your probability of seeing an inch of snow, the percentages. Not very good. A 20% chance in parts of southwest Michigan that an inch of snow could fall. Almost none of that would stick. If you get south of the state line, it'll be hard pressed to find any snow at all in some areas. So if you're listening around the rest of today and someone is telling you there's a big snowstorm ahead of us Friday into Saturday, well, as Obi-Wan Kenobi would say, this is not the snow you're looking for. Not much in the forecast at all. Tonight, 26 degrees for the low temperature. We're talking about a day that's going to lead to a mostly cloudy night, so it's not a great night for Death Star gazing, unfortunately. But we will see again a return to sun Saturday and Sunday itself. There's your mild air as we balance things back out next week. You'll want your umbrella Monday through Thursday. And if you want a white Christmas, we're not going to have snow on the ground. Friday itself, though, there's a chance we could see a few snowflakes flying early in the morning with some wintry mix. So we could have a little snow very early on Christmas. But nothing big for people headed out to the movies today or tomorrow. Oh, I'll be out there tonight. Now right. I'm coming straight to the show after it tomorrow. Could not be more pumped. So no, no issues getting around town today or all of the weekend, really. All mm -hmm. right, Greg. Well, thank you for that forecast. You're welcome. <laughs> I do what I can.